Hey, hey, oh, I'm coming. Just be a sec, I'll be right there. Oh, 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 good, not alive. Oh, I really ought to look where my feet are going, huh? Oh, hold on, buddy. These are yours. I'd forgotten I'd had them to give them out to you. Thank the stars I hadn't dropped nothing fragile. <sighs> Shoo-wee! I ain't had no idea how late it gotten. I'm plumb tuckered after all this running around. It ain't even the first time I fell today. Ran into a few buildings on the way here, too. You know how Julie likes to do her drawing on the sidewalks and all? Well, she drew up a hopscotch on the curb this morning, and I just couldn't help myself. I had to just have a hop, skip, and a jump to start my day. I really am accident prone, I figure, because my face ended up meeting the pavement. <laughs> Well, I may have been racket today and toss around, but I'm still fair to middling. Even after that bowling ball order. I suppose I don't got much more running left to do today, though. Unless you got something for me to carry for you. Is there any leaded package or parcel you need me to run for your... Uh, wait, what are you looking around me for? Mailman! man! You uh, got any packages for little old me? My kazoo collection should have been in my mailbox today. Where is it? Uh, 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 now, Barnaby, you know better. I have to put it in your mailbox. It's policy. You know a dog like me doesn't do policy, <laughs> pal. The only policy I follow is the greed all dogs follow. Chasing your local mailman. No, oh, I hate that policy. I'll beat you to your mailbox lickety split. If I don't split my lickety... <sighs> I was this close to dogpiling him. Next time, don't give Eddie any hints, eh? <laughs> Which is why the pie charts must be Breen Berry. Mr. Deer, write that down. Breen Berry. Uh, uh, you, you know Julie. Uh uh. President Joyful. Right, right, right. Pr President Joyful. I, I don't think Breen Berry's a real berry. I mean, shoot, what color even is Breen? That's classified, Mr. Deer. That's why they pay me the big shamulas. The what now? I ain't getting paid in anything, let alone sh shamus. Yeah. Sh 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 shamu what, what did you say again, President Joyful? Shamulas, doubloons, smolians, dinner rows. Can't you see what this company is all about, Mr. Deer? Uh, Breen? No, it's about... Pie charts, big buildings, hot cakes, small stuffed bears, chalk and houses. I don't think any of those things go together, quite frankly. It's about big suits and big hair and big voices. Mr. Deer, are you not confident in our business model? You have good shoulders under your head, Mr. Deer. I would hate to see you canned. Can me? But, but you can't fire me. It's my first day on the job. Then you'd better straighten up and fly down, Mr. Deer, because the most important part of running a business is... <clears throat> hmm. Hello, President Joyful of Everything Incorporated. What? Mr. Billy Nilly, no! We've... We're broke. They've eaten all our office supplies. Even the staplers. We're out of business. No! <laughs> this was all I had. Whether letter or parcel, whether rain, snow or... No. Uh, I mean, Joyful residents, who may I ask is calling... Oh, Barn, good to hear from you. Yeah, we're playing business or something or other. Yep, I'd say we're fresh at it. Whatever we're supposed to be selling. I think this time it was Breen. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Phone call for you, woman. Oh, oh. Pardon me, ma'am. Well, if it isn't our reliable yeah. mailman, either that or my delivery decided to sprout legs and go for a walk. No, <clears throat> nope, it's me. Sorry, I think I might have overestimated how much to bring in a time, howdy. Nope. No kidding. Uh, uh, say, Ed, no. how about you give my goods no. a break from your fumbling no. before they turn into bads? Oh, right. <sighs> oh, uh, um, yeah, oh, sorry about that. Howdy, I guess I'm... Um, just in a rush today, I'm a little behind with my delivery, Brown. You don't say. I do say. I feel like I'm getting tossed around by my own parcels. <laughs> what kind of life is that for a mailman? No life at all, Ed. 
But before you know it, I'll be back on schedule and back at the post office. I just got a new set of stamps I've been trying to organize. I can never decide between color and shape. But, oh, sign here, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sounds like a busy day ahead of you, Ed. Uh, speaking of busy, you remind me about a special order I need delivered. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> don't tell me, uh, it's the bowling it's balls. It's the bowling jewelry. balls Julie ordered. Uh, right. <laughs> you got it, howdy. <clears throat> I'll get them to her faster than it. Faster than a bee, Karen. Wax to a honeycomb. Sounds good. Make sure it gets to jewels all in one piece. Right. Uh, can bowling balls break? I, uh, uh, have a good day, you two. You have a good one, too, Ed. Oh, pardon me. <sighs> Boy, that fella can talk your ear off. Let's hope he doesn't run to anybody with that order, eh? Woosh. Hello, Mr. Deer. I'm here about your emergency. Oh, thank the stars you're here, Frank. Oh. I, I mean, Mr. Frankly, we're in a heap of trouble. There's some kind of, you know, like a... It, it's like... If you, you ever seen like, uh, it's a, uh, it's like a whatchamacallit in here. A whatchamacallit? I'm afraid I only deal with bugs, Mr. Deer. <gasps> a bug? A critter? A guest? A neighbor? Whatever it is, it's upheaving my whole post office. Just look at what it's done with the paper chains. It made these. It did a wonderful job. Maybe you should consider hiring it. Real cute. I'm being serious here. Oh, there's nothing to be so scared of. It's more frightened of you than you are of it, you know. Scared? Of a friendly guy like me? I wouldn't even hurt a fly. I don't think you could even look at a fly without your hiding from this beetle. Hey, don't go knocking a fella down when he's in a fit of desperation. If you had a rogue envelope fluttering around your home, I'd get there lickety-split. I'll take that into consideration next time that happens, Mr. Deer. See? Not so intimidating, is it? I suppose you're right. But it's easy for you to say so. I don't know these fellas on a first-name basis like you do. You don't need to be familiar with them in order to get to know them better. They're just like you or me. In fact... You're not scared of them, are you? <laughs>